Step five is to solve all eight edges on the bottom and top layers. At this point, your 3x3x5 three by three by should look something like this. Using only one algorithm and its two variations, we'll be able to turn the puzzle to a 3x3x3 three by three by three and then solve it. What we're going to be looking for when solving for the edges is two unsolved edges like this, where this first edge's bottom half can go into this second edge's top half. And we're going to have one unsolved edge above the second edge. In this case, we're going to do this algorithm. D L R prime F2 L prime R D prime. And here's the mirror case. Where this is the first edge, this is the second edge, and this is the top unsolved edge above the second edge. D prime L R prime F2, L prime, R, and then D. If two edges happen to be opposite on the bottom side, like this one, this orange has to go here, this is the first and this is the second edge, bring the unsolved edge above the second edge again, and then basically it's the same algorithm. D2, L, R prime, F2, L prime R and then D2. If you run out of edges to work with on the bottom side, all we have to do is bring an edge, an unsolved edge, above a solved edge, and do that vertical edge switch algorithm we've been using. L R prime F2 L prime R. And now we have two on the bottom. If you end up only having two unsolved edges left, like this red-blue, red-blue combination, all we have to do is pick an edge to keep in the bottom, like this one. Pick its bottom, its, corn, its edge's bottom half, which is red. Find a red edge like this one, and bring this edge to the top while bringing this edge to the bottom. And then now we just do a three corn three edge segment. By step six, we should now have a three by three by three with F two L pairs and a pseudo F two O L L already completed. In this step, we will bring the four bottom edges to the rightful place on three by three. To do this. All we need to do is place an edge directly above its spot. We're going to bring this white green edge here. We're just going to do that vertical edge switch. L R prime F2 L prime R. You can see that the F2 L pairs are intact and OLL is intact. Do this with each of the edges. And now we only have PLL left. Step 7 is just to permute the last layer. After PLL, you'll have your 3x3x5 three three solved. In my case, I just have a left J permutation. Okay, that's it for my tutorial on the 3x3x5. Three three I hope it helped you. If it didn't in some way, please leave a comment, and I'll answer it the best I can. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.